I've been eating a carnivore diet for over 15 months. I'm still not at my goal weight. Has it been worth it? Hi everybody, my name's John. I'm 57 years old and I've been eating a carnivore diet for over 15 months. So let's just get right into this video. So a quick update from my last video. I said I would give you guys an update. It's been several weeks. I haven't been able to do it, so let me just do it quickly. I've been on and off of carnivore uh, several times in the last month and a half where I'm mostly carnivore, but then we went to an Independence Day celebration. I was good for the most part. I had hamburger uh, patties and some hot dogs, but then I also had one or two cupcakes or a chocolate chip cookie. I forget what it was, but I kind of went off carnivore, not kind of, I went off carnivore a little bit. So even though I said I was going to be strict, uh, didn't turn out that way. If you're on carnivore and you've done this, let me know. Are, are you a bit more strict than I am? Uh, sometimes I find it very easy. Most of the time I find it easy, at least getting back on carnivore. But in the last six months, I have gone off carnivore once every few weeks. And that's why I think I've, I've had my stall. Um, I'm cracking down once again. So hopefully another week, two weeks, three weeks, I'll give another update and see where I am. Because I am five pounds away from saying I lost a total of 100 pounds. Not all on carnivore, but most of it on carnivore. And I really would like to hit that, that number. I know it's just a number. It's not a major goal of mine, but it just would feel good to say, you know what? I've lost a hundred pounds instead of saying, how much did you lose? Oh, I've lost 95 pounds. Nothing wrong with that. I'm very proud of that. But the 100 just rolls off the tongue a little bit sweeter. So hopefully in my next video, I will be there. Stay tuned. We'll see. Now, to whether carnivore is worth it or not. So is carnivore worth it? Well, let me give a quick recap. I'm no longer pre-diabetic. I reversed my arthritis. I've reversed my sleep apnea. I slowed a growth down. I actually reversed a growth on my thyroid that is no longer growing. That was growing. And uh, that's right, I don't have high blood pressure anymore. Those are the top five. There's probably about 20 others, such as when I wake up in the morning, my hands are not tingling anymore. Um, eye floaters. My eye floaters are 95% gone. I mean, I'm trying to look for eye floaters right now, and I do not see any. I've had eye floaters my entire life. Skin tags. I've had skin tags my entire life. I have no skin tags. This is the first time in my life that I can remember I don't have skin tags. So while I may not be at my goal weight just yet, is carnivore worth it 15 months in and not being at my goal weight? Yes. A complete 100% yes. There's no debate. There's no question. I am not changing my diet in any way other than my little bit of off carnivore for celebrations or special events. That's about it. That's the approach I decided to take when I started carnivore. That's still the approach I'm, I'm going to take now. Uh, if my one of my kids makes me a, a birthday cake or a Father's Day cake or something like that, am I going to have some? Yes. Am I going to be so strict like some militant vegans when they go out to eat? Oh no, I can't eat this. I can't eat that. No, I'm not going to be that way. Some people need to be that way and that's fine. And if you're one of them, please let me know. If you're not, if you're like me where you are fine going off carnivore and then going right back to it a day, two days, three days later, whatever the time period is that you allowed yourself let me know. Um, it's not that big of a deal for me, but is carnivore worth it? 150%. I literally still pray and thank God for carnivore and for him leading me to carnivore 
because my health was in such a downward sp spiral only 15 months ago, 16 months ago, that I never want to go back there. I've done many, many other diets, Weight Watchers included, fasting, tried being vegan, switched to being vegetarian, still couldn't do it, didn't work for me, um, and I, it's been fantastic. So is it worth it? 100%. If you're considering being a carnivore, do your own research, look into it, look at Dr. Berry, Dr. Chafee, Dr. Baker, Dr. Hampton, and there's there's hundreds more. I've I subscribe to so many different carnivore channels. Unfortunately, I don't get to see them all all the time. But go watch the uh, on Dave Mac uh, Zero Carb, I believe it is, or or No Carb. Check out his interviews. He's got over 500 interviews about the carnivore diet and how people have completely turned their life around eating this way. Go check it out. Leave me a comment. If you have any questions about any of the, the illnesses or the issues that I had, please leave them in the comments below. Ask me. I will do my best to answer it right away. Um, of course, please like and subscribe to this channel. I am still in the middle of my carnivore journey, if you will, and my, my health journey, I really should call it. Um, I've cut out so much junk. My health has improved so much. That's why this channel is called Less Junk, More Health. I've done most of those things. There's always room for improvement. I'm still working on proving my diet, my life, my well-being in general. But it is so much better than it was a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago, I was praying for an answer. And I'm glad that this one came along. So, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Stay tuned. God bless.